good evening, uh, brethren. We are thankful to God for the privilege to meet again this evening and just learn from the Word of God. Uh, we appreciate you. Thank you so much for always joining us uh, online as we learn the Word of God. As a church, we are so grateful and appreciate the Lord so much for you as we keep praying for you always uh, that God will keep using you and even bless you uh, for the glory of His uh, great name. I'm called Daniel Musobo and uh, just take time to pray as we learn from the word of God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We exalt and adore your name, Father, for your goodness, your faithfulness. Lord, you are so good. You are so amazing. You are the Lord Almighty, the creator of heaven and the earth. The Lord, our Father, we thank you so much, Lord, that we are associated with you. We are your sons and daughters. And as we learn from your word, we pray that Holy Spirit inspire the word and speak to each one of us, O oh Lord. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Uh, today we'll be looking at uh, something uh, different. Last week we were talking about uh, a number of things and we learned a lot from the scriptures. And today we'll take time to look at also another uh, part of the word of God from the Old Testament, Exodus. And uh, we'll be basing on Exodus chapter 8. From verses 22 to 28 and I, I entitled this sermon break the limits breaking the limits now as human beings there is where we say uh, my, my, my I've ended there what uh, I am able to do I've stopped here and then sometimes we try to draw back and not keep moving uh, forth but uh, today I'm coming to remind you that despite any situation that will try to hold you in some cage or some as circumstances, whether you cost it yourself, whether the environment you're in cost it, whether the circumstances around or even the enemy cost it, uh, there is the possibility of you trusting and leaning in God and then you can be able to break that limit off your shoulders and you can be able to move forward. That even this pandemic cannot uh, limit you or hold you back or stop you from doing that which God can uh, can be able to do through your life. So, child of God, let's let's read the word of God as we proceed. Uh, Exodus chapter eight, but from verses. Uh, uh, let me begin from verse twenty. The Bible says, "And the Lord said unto Moses, Rise up early in the morning and stand before Pharaoh. Lo, he cometh forth uh, uh, to the water." Let me get a simple version here. Uh, the Lord said to Moses, Get up early in the morning and position yourself before Pharaoh as he goes out to the water and tell him, Thus says the Lord, Release my people uh, that they may uh, serve me. 21. If you do not release my people, then I am going to send swarms of flies on you and your servants and on your people and your, how, in your houses. The houses of the Egyptians will be full of flies and even at the ground they stand up. But on that day, I will mark off the land of Goshen, where my people are, 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 are staying, so that no swarms of flies will be there, that you may know that I am the Lord in the midst of this land. I will put a division between my people and your people. This sign will take place tomorrow. The Lord did so, and a thick a swarm of flies came into Pharaoh's house and into the house of his, of his servant and throughout the whole land of Egypt. Uh, the land was ruined because of the swarms of flies. Then Pharaoh summoned Moses and Aaron and said, Go, sacrifice to your God within the land. But Moses said, That will not be right to do. For the sacrifice we make to the Lord our God will not be will be an abomination to the Egyptians. If we make sacrifices that are an abomination to the Egyptians, right before the eyes, they will, they, will they not stone us? 27 says, We must go on a three-day journey into the desert and sacrifice to the Lord our God, just as he is telling us. Pharaoh said, I will release you that you may sacrifice to the Lord your God in the desert. Only you must not go very far. Do pray for me. Praise be the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, our major focus will be from 25 to 28. When, when, when Pharaoh responded and, and told Moses, okay, you can go, but don't go very far. That's where I can picked from this, uh, the, the, this theme. Uh, break the limit. Lim the fellow tried to limit uh, Moses uh, and, and Aaron where they should end, where they should go and sacrifice from. But Moses arose and stood firm and said, mm -mm, no, we will not uh, do this within Egypt. We have to go to the desert. A three days journey, that was a long distance, walking for three days into the desert and just to offer sacrifice to God. I believe uh, where God had instructed Moses to go and uh, at the bottom 
uh, uh, Mount Sinai and just offer sacrifices to the Lord Almighty. A child of God, Moses stood his ground and he decided we will not be able to uh, stop uh, where you want us to, but we will do as God instruct us. Now, you need to break every limit you have set for yourself and go for what God has purpose for you. Just like Moses, he was trying um, to do what God has instructed him to do. But Pharaoh was trying to limit him, was trying to keep him in some kind of a box. With, uh, in this case, Pharaoh was the one causing the situation. Um, the, the, the trying to limit them. But he decided we will not stay here. And not from here, we were going deeper. And so you and me, we know what limits us. We know what has limited your growth in Christ. You know what has limited a number of things from moving on. But God has called us to keep moving on, to keep doing that which has put in us. Jesus says, those who believe in me, actually they will even do greater things than with that which I have done. So child of God, don't limit the ability that God is able to do through your own life. Blessed be the name of Jesus Christ. And don't allow the enemy to limit you in any way possible, even during this pandemic season. Please don't let anything put you down. Rise up and do that which God has put in you. It be creative. I think of ways of being about to make a work work at home. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. How ministry can keep moving on. How that calling within you, that, that desire within your life can keep growing because God is in the move. God has not stopped working even in this season. So we should not stop. Now, see through the eyes of God and understand His ways are excellent. His plans are to give you a hope and a future. So don't be blindfolded by the circumstances before you. Look beyond that. See through the lenses of Christ. Through the word of God, you'll be able to overcome uh, any kind of a situation. Now, we can only take hold of that which God has for us when we let him lead the way. Moses let God lead the way. In fact, when God called him, he told him, I will be telling you what to say. So he didn't depend on his own understanding. He didn't depend on how he thinks things should be done. But he trusted in God. Now, Moses followed the leading of God in fulfilling the mission God had in plan for him and the children of Israel who were slaves in Egypt by then. Now, three things I'll have to learn from this text here. And you also get to learn about it. Number one thing is Moses had from God. Moses had from God. My question for you is, who are you hearing from? Whom are you listening to? Because when you look at the news today, there's every, almost every 10 minutes, this pandemic thing is being advertised. Every way, this thing has tried to cover up every news. But where, 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 where is your focus? Whom are you listening to? Oh, like Moses did, Moses had from God. The children of Israel were under slavery. They were suffering. They were being tormented. They were being tortured. They were suffering, child of God. But uh, God had brought a man he could use to save them. But now, here he is, and Pharaoh is becoming stiff-necked. This, this, this was, I think, the fourth plague that God had, uh, was doing at that time. But more, the, 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 but, 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 each, the Egyptian Pharaoh was still very stiff-necked. Ah, ah, you're not going. But at this point of time, of course, we'll see what happened next when it begins. says, okay, you can go, but don't go very far. So now one thing is hear from God. Listen to his voice because the voice of God determines how every, everything else will flow. Blessed be the name of Jesus Christ. God told him early in the morning, go and meet Pharaoh in the water. That means previously, actually, the, the, the previous plagues, he was going to meet him in the, in the palace. I think maybe he could have stopped him from moving to the palace by that time. And they said, don't allow him to come here anymore. But when Pharaoh decided to go maybe to the river, maybe uh, the, the, the banks of River Nile, maybe to have a shower or to swim a little bit, to relax from the stress of the previous plague. And God tells Moses, go and meet him there. When we hear God, God knows the opportunities that are ahead of us. He knows how to tackle the enemy. And so you have to be available for him to use you. And in this season, you can position yourself in a, a state or a place where you can hear from God in a perfect way. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus Christ. You're talking about hearing from God. Number two, Moses followed the instructions. So when God spoke to him, I told him, 
Moses, arise in the morning. Then the next thing is the instructions came in. And he told him, go and tell Moses, let my people go. When you look at the previous plagues and even those after, God was consistent. Telling him, tell this guy to let my people go. And always, that is what God is doing in our lives. Jesus Christ came to let us uh, move in the direction of God. To let us go from our own way of thinking, our own lifestyle, our own way of understanding things. To move in the way that God wants us to go. To let us break from the bondages then, and the, 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 the traps of the enemy that we may be able to walk as free men. Always God has that at heart that we may be free to give us liberty. No wonder he calls us his own children. He says he no longer calls us someone but friends because he has given us the liberty. The, the, the freedom to worship him. Hallelujah. And his major reason was to let them go to the desert and worship God. So Moses followed the instructions. Child of God, in this season, as we hear from God, follow his instructions. Follow his directions. And the best way to get his instructions is learning from the word of God. The Bible, the holy book of God. He has given us that and there are a number of instructions right in there. Hallelujah. And now, Moses did not in any way or the other try to edit what God told, told him to tell him. He just told him exactly what God said. That, so whatever God has said about your life, whatever God has said about your future, whatever God has said about your ministry, about your studies, about anything that you can put there, it has to come to pass because God is not a man that he should lie. He tells us in number 23, 19 that he is not a man that he should lie. When he says it, he does it. Glory to God. Number three things. Uh, number three thing. Or maybe before I talk about that, my question for you is, whose instructions are you following? Whose instructions are you following? Is the TV instructing you more? Is this story of this pandemic informing you more? Or the truth of the word of God? The Bible says the truth sets you free. The truth, only that can set you free. You know, I'm not saying it's bad to listen and, and pray. Actually, it helps inform, inform even our prayer life because we have to pray even for those who have I lost the dear ones. We pray for those who are suffering. That is good. But as a child of God, let's focus on that which God has put uh, before us to follow. Number three, uh, Moses uh, broke the limit. That's where our theme is coming, coming in. He broke the limit. When, Moses, when, when, when Pharaoh told him, uh, okay, you can go, but don't go beyond Egypt. Just do it within Egypt. Moses said, no, uh, uh, uh. that limitation cannot work for us. Because whatever we'll be sacrificing to God will be like an abomination to them. Because for them actually they worshipped even animals. They loved cows. They loved animals. You know? And, and killing an animal that somebody's worshipped is like killing a god of somebody. And so Moses said, no, no, we will not do that. We are not limited to this environment. We will have to go where God wants us to go. So child of God, don't limit even yourself. Don't allow your thinking limit you to some level. Think beyond the box. Think beyond the comfortable zones you're in. Praise, bless, blessed be the name of Jesus Christ. Now, do, he told him, do not go very far. Now, my question for you is how flexible and available are you? Moses was flexible to go beyond the borders of Egypt. Don't allow the enemy keep you in Egypt. In things that you are to let go. The former life. That, that, that you're living in before you came to Jesus Christ. You know, when we accepted Christ, things changed. Things shifted. We got a new way of living. The way of Jesus Christ. The truth of God informs now our, our theology, informs our decisions, informs everything about because He is our way. He is our truth. He is our life. You can go, but don't go very far. Ah, that is interesting. Now, by the way, you, you have gotten saved. Thanks to God, you have gotten saved. That is very good. God made it happen. Now, and you are willing to accept that gift. Now, don't go very far in that aspect. Is You have gotten saved, yes. What next? The enemy could allow you, to, uh, okay, could, could let you because God, you are persistent in the things of God and God has come through for you. Now, and, and he can try to keep you at that level of just, okay, you're a believer. Mm, yeah, you're a believer, you're a convert. You end there. Don't let yourself be there. Don't allow the enemy not let you go very far. Break 
the limit. Now, get to the level where you're, you're even ministering the gospel. You're sharing the word of God. You're doing things for God. You know, he may tell you, don't go very far in your prayer life. Pray for your own self. Leave the neighbors. Leave the rest. Mm -hmm. We are called to go very far in the things of God. Breaking the limit of man. He could say, okay, don't go very far even in your giving. Mm -mm. Remain with your giving. Don't give to God. Don't support the things of God. Child of God, break that limit. Move ahead. Support the things of God. He said, mm -mm. don't go very far in outreach. Just be a believer. Believe in Jesus Christ. Don't, go, go, don't, don't, don't reach out. That is for the evangelist. Child of God, everyone is called to reach out. Break that limit, even at home where you are. Your neighbors, your family members, there are those you know who have not accepted Jesus Christ. Reach out to them and let them know Jesus Christ. You know, don't go very far in immorality. Just, just um, keep, keep that boyfriend, keep that girlfriend, you know. Don't let them go. Hold on to them and, and enjoy life. You are still a believer, yes. But don't let go of the, the desires of the flesh. Child of God, we must let that go. Break that yoke. Break that limit and move on into purity. Hallelujah. It is possible by the grace of God. You could say, don't go very far. Hold on to unforgiveness. Don't forgive people. You're a child of God. You're a believer. You know, but don't forgive other people. Child of God, break that limit. Let that go. Move forth and worship God in truth and in spirit. Blessed be the name of Jesus Christ. You know, he could tell you even, don't preach the word. Don't share. Pastors are supposed to do that. Apostles and those people gifted with this and that. No, you are qualified to serve God. You're saying that God calls you the way you are. He qualifies the unqualified. As long as you're available. Um, our pastor was sharing and saying, God is looking for fat people. Faithful, available, and teachable. If you're that person, you're faithful to God. You're available to be used by God. You're willing to learn. You're teachable. You are qualified to do the work of God. Wherever you are. You must not stand in a pulpit. No. Even at home. Even within that space you are in. In that taxi. In that uh, environment you're in, whatever you move in, whatever that bath, you can do something. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus Christ. Now, we must break the limit and, and move at the pace of God. You see, we must say, I am going as far as God is leading me. And as far as God needs me to move, I will move on. We're just encouraging you, break the limit. Don't limit yourself. Don't allow the stories in all televisions limit you. Don't allow the enemy to limit you in any way. Break forth and move to where God has moved you to go. Now, comfortable spaces sometimes are not good because you won't explore more of what God has put in you because that's, ah, for me, I'm comfortable here. I don't want to do anything else. I'm relaxed. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus Christ. Blessed be his name. You're just comfortable. You know, think bigger. Think the way Jesus Christ thinks. You know, Jesus says, I threw a pastor Paul in Philippians 2 5, let this man who is in Christ be in you. What is that that Christ thought about? You know, when we begin going down those verses, verses 6 all the way down around 12 there, he sacrificed himself. Now, then what was he? God gave him a name that is above every other name. He did not limit himself to himself. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now, God did not vaccinate Jesus against the problems that he was going to face, he didn't vaccinate him. He came and he faced it. We can face it and we can overcome it. Hallelujah. Now, we, we are thankful to God. So let's break the limit as I wind up and let God have his way. Blessed be the name of Jesus Christ. Child of God, you're able by the grace of God to do greater things for Christ. Just like Jesus Christ said, you shall do greater things even than what I did. We can preach that word. We can share that word. We can guide and counsel other people. We can speak life to them. We can encourage them. Blessed be the name of Jesus Christ. We can pray for them. Either even beyond or far your reach uh, and your, 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 your space you can reach to. Pray for them and let Christ have his way. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Anyway, thank you very much um, for joining us. Let's pray uh, together even as we wind up. Just take time to thank God and whatever you are um, allowed to limit you or whatever, whether, we, whether it was caused by you or not by you, just pray to God. 
And if it is sin, just repent and let him have his way. The saving grace of God is sufficient uh, to us. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for all our viewers. I bless your great name for each one of them. I pray that as we learn from the word, Lord, help us break every limit. And everything caused by the enemy, we destroy that in Jesus' name. And I declare them free to move at the pace of your glory. At the pace of your will, my Father. Let your word sink deep in us. And let us always move in a way that is expectant of you from us. We bless you, Jesus Christ, and exalt your great name. Meet all of them at their points of need. Heal those who are sick. Deliver those who are bound. And Lord of glory, let your will be done in every aspect of our lives. We pray all this believing in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody say, Amen. Thank you very much. See you next time.